In today's video, I'm going to show you a brand new update to the auto ducking feature in the Essential Sound panel. Thanks to Artlist for sponsoring today's video, and let's get started. So in order to access the new auto ducking feature, you need to make sure that you're updated to the latest version of Premiere Pro version 22.6. If you don't want to update yet, you can open up the free beta from the Adobe Creative Cloud app to access it. The best way to work with audio in Premiere Pro is by going up to workspaces and make sure that you're in the audio workspace. So I have this sample sequence here in my timeline from a past tutorial and on audio track four, I have a music track. And what I want it to do is increase in volume when I have my logo reveal and decrease in volume when I'm just a talking head. You can do this manually to decrease and increase the volume to create fades, but this is where you can use the essential sound panel. So it will do it automatically for you. The first thing we need to do is tell Premiere Pro which clips are the dialogue. So we need to select all of our audio clips here on audio track two, go up to the essential sound panel and select dialogue. That's just telling Premiere Pro that those are dialogue clips and we want the music to duck behind it. Now we can select the music track, go up to essential sound and label it as music. And now here is where the ducking section is. Select ducking and make sure you have the little chat bubble selected. This means that we're going to duck against the audio clips. So the ducking was already here in previous versions, the sensitivity, the duck amount, the fade duration, but now there's fade position, which will allow you to change where you want the fade to begin. Let's go ahead and let's generate keyframes based on the default here. Now we have these points in our timeline. But what if you want to move the position of these two keyframes over to the left? This is where we can increase the fade position. So if I increase this to be more inside and then click generate keyframes again, it's going to shift them over. Now notice how it created these random keyframes here. That's not wanted, right? To get rid of that, we need to increase the sensitivity up to like nine and then hit generate keyframes and then these will go away. If you want to increase the duration of the fade between the two points, we can increase the fade duration and then hit generate keyframes. And there we go. So you can play around with these parameters until the fade is in the exact place that you want. Now we can go ahead and listen to how it sounds. Thank you Artlist for sponsoring. I'll tell you more about their music for video later on in the video. For now, let's go ahead and jump on in. Mastering is the final step of sound editing and mixing. So it did a pretty good job, right? And one more thing to note that you might be wondering, the duck amount, what exactly is that? Well, it's minus 18 because that's kind of the industry standard for how much lower you need the volume to go. If you wanna be able to hear somebody talking when music is playing in the background, you may have to adjust this because certain tracks are a little bit louder. That's how you can use these parameters and the fade position is the new update. If this video is helping you out so far, be sure to give it a thumbs up as well as subscribe for more tutorials and tips when it comes to video editing. That music that was playing in my timeline was from Artlist and they have some of the catchiest music. I guarantee you while you're browsing for music for your video, you're gonna start dancing because there's some really, really great hits that you hear. Even their ads on YouTube are super catchy. So the way that Artlist works is that you sign up for an annual or a monthly plan and you can download as much music as you want and you can use it for any type of platform. This includes YouTube, social media, television, podcast, gaming, anything that you can imagine, you can use their music and legally without any copyright issues. And they have sound effects as well. Let me show you. Underneath the sound effects, of course, you can just search by keyword, but they also have all these nice categories like whooshes and transitions. They also have some reactions. So if you need some voices, for example, somebody just yelling, woo, woo, woo. They have different voices like that, giggling, <laughs> <laughs> a little awkward. <laughs> Some of them are pretty funny. What else is here? Female essentials. <gasps> <gasps> So if you need to add in sound effects to your edit afterwards, they have everything that you need here in their music. One really cool thing that you could do is once you find a track that you like, for example, the one that I use in this video, Waste Our Time by Jane and the Boy, you can click on find similar songs and it will show you other songs that have a similar vibe and taste to it. Also, when you browse for music on Artlist, they have some really cool parameters. For example, underneath mood, you can choose to include music that's uplifting, but maybe 
exclude music that's epic, for example. And one category I really like is video themes. So you can search music that's fit for a particular type of genre, whether it's for technology, food, education, documentary, weddings. They have all of this here, including genre, as well as different types of instruments as well. And up at the top is where you can choose vocals or browse just by instrumental, BPM, and duration. So use my link below to sign up and explore Artlist. You can also sign up for a free plan if you just want to get the watermark tracks first to test out before you commit to a plan. Thank you so much to Artlist for sponsoring today's video and let me know what you think about the new auto ducking fade position feature. Do you find it useful? Let me know in a comment below. If you want to learn more audio tricks in Premiere Pro you can click right over here and over here you can sign up for my monthly workshops where I interact live with you on Super Peer. Thanks so much for watching and as always, keep creating better video with Gal. See you next time. Bye.